Hello everybody, what is going on again? This is Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna use color balance to adjust the image. And um, color balance is a good tool that is quick that you can use to quickly take out certain colors and move the tonal range over to a different set of colors. So for example, you notice that this picture is really red because there are a lot of neon lights like this one that my mouse is around. There are a lot of those in this bar and it basically turned every picture that we took to red. So let's go ahead and adjust this so that we can take out the red and make this look like it was a normal looking lighting. So let's go to image, let's go to adjustments, let's go to color balance. And you can see that control B is color balance. That's the hotkey. So what do we have here? All right, one sec, let me move this somewhere good. Let's move it right here so we can see the entire picture. All right, now down here, we'll start here at the bottom. We've got tone balance. Now we can adjust shadows, midtones, highlights, and you can tell which one you're on by, um, if you aren't looking at the tone balance, by accident you can you can see that the little arrows on here the sliders they change so highlights are going to be the brightest midtones are going to be gray and shadows are going to be black on there now preserve luminosity you want to keep that checked so that it keeps the entire picture from getting darker and lighter as you move the slides you can usually leave the tone balance at midtones to get the best results so start with that and uh, work from there now what you need to do is take a careful look at your image and see what kind of stuff needs to be changed or moved around. Now obviously we can see that red needs to be taken out of this picture, um, but what else? All right, magenta is close to red, so we'll probably need to take out some magentas and, and then we'll decide when we get down to the yellow and the blue if we need to do anything there. So let's go ahead and move this uh, top slider here We've got the uh, contrasting colors here, the uh, opposites here. So we'll go to move left to the uh, cyan here. And you can already see it's taken out some of the uh, image. And um, since we're doing this, this wasn't the highest quality photo. It was taken from a phone. But you can still edit um, your phone pictures and stuff like that in Photoshop. And I'm sure people want to know how to do that as well. So let's uh, start moving out some of the magenta out of there. Now we're starting to get real skin tones. Now let's move this left and right from yellow and blue and see what we get. I think we need to move it more into the yellow. Well, not a lot. If I move it to the blue, you can see that it's bringing way too much blue in there. We don't want that. So just maybe a little bit into the yellow. 12. So I got negative 73 plus 33 and negative 12. That's what I did to uh, be able to adjust this image. And I did it really quickly and uh, fairly easily. So if I go here to shadows, I can maybe work on this a little more. Actually, let's go to highlights because maybe it'll get the, these a little bit better. We can move this and do some fine, fine small tuning to it. I don't want to do that too much. Maybe put some more yellow, a little bit of yellow in there shadows now if you, you just take a look at your shadows actually I think I put too much yellow in there because the the highlights are a little starting to turn yellow all right and then you can you might not even need to adjust the uh, the shadows or the mid to, or the highlights you might have just liked to add the normal um, the one when we use midtones I thought it looked fine so I could just put these back to zero and that would reset everything back to where it was. Now if we do a preview, uncheck the preview and go back, we can see the difference here. And a lot was definitely a lot of the red was definitely taken out to make it more like a regular picture. Now you might want to do some things like taking out some of the noise in the image or uh, softening it up and stuff like that to get a, a, a rid of all this all the little specks and stuff like that. Or you can keep it on to create like a cool um, kind of noisy look so that's up to you uh, but we're not going over that part in this tutorial and uh, that's uh, that's basically it so use your color balance to quickly take out some colors or shift the colors to um, uh, the other set 
So um, it goes from the RGB over here on the right, and then we got the CMY, and it's just missing the K. K is black, so these are the opposite spectrum colors there. So thanks for watching this one. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. See you later.